I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> oh, shit! I poked my head out of the gutter for one freaking second and fate shoveled shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. programming with a message from the State Department. All bridges and some roads in the Vice City metropolitan area have been closed because of a severe weather warning. Meteorologists are tracking Hurricane Hermione, which has devastated five Caribbean islands and is heading for Vice City. More updates soon. She's gone. You go into the kitchen, there's a note scrawled, the sound of a taxi leaving in the distance. Tommy! Tommy, it's been too long. I know, I know. You're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money. No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with! Wait, Sonny. You have my personal assurance that I'm gonna get you your money back, and the drugs, and I'm gonna mail you the dicks of those responsible. Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you, neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you, because we got history, I'm gonna let you handle this. Look, Sonny, you got my word. I'll be in touch. Panel, we got the secessionist lunatic John F. Hickory, liberal rich kid Callum Crashaw, and neo-fascist congressman Alex Schrock. Gentlemen, welcome back. Let's start with you, Mr. Hickory. Why the F? For Florida. I'm a patriot. I've even got an orange grove tattooed all over my groin. Excellent. But back to the matter at hand. Public safety. How do we get guns under control in this city? By giving everyone hope. A dream.
go get some sleep, he says. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's re ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do? Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine, and then we're gonna kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht, and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? I have an invite. Of course I have an invite. But there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door. No I way, not I told you, happen. shut up. I'll go myself. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't gonna be a beer and strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here. Stop by. I'll need to see your license. We don't need gun control. If you read the Constitution, it's a sacred document that should not be changed. Under our Constitution, women couldn't vote, but the liberals come in crying crocodile tears. We need to get scaremongers and non-believers men like you, Chavez, under control. I've got a good mind to have your funding removed. We don't get any funding. Yeah, exactly. Well, good. <laughs> you won't see a penny out of me. You've got to stop spreading these lies or I'll whip you myself. I'm not afraid. The Constitution asserts a man's right to bear arms at... making a nuisance of yourself, spinning on your back and popping and locking and... Not a hope. It's simple. If you don't have a job, starve. Get out of my constituency. By force, if necessary, and starve. That is quite simple. Are you really saying that? Of course I am. Vice City is a growing city. Of course, there are going to be some growing pains, but what I tell people is this. Gather up your life's... Buenas noches. Fever. Fever 105. Will you be working for my father? Maybe. Do you mind me resting my hand in your lap? Maybe. So difficult having a rich and powerful father. Vamos. See you around, handsome. I'm sure you will. Thank you. 
Well, I hope you're having a good time, because I'm going out of my mind with worry here. What did you find out? That there are more criminals in this town than in prison. We need a lead from the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it! Okay, there's this limey, some music industry slimeball. Goes by the name of Kent Paul. Anyway, he's got his nose so far up most of Vice City's ass that if anybody knows the whereabouts of 20 keys of coke, it's this guy, all right? He's always at the Malibu. I'll go pay him a visit. Bite back, darling. You clearly weren't expecting this, were you? Please, have a heart. I have cats. Ah! I am so naughty. You pop up from. I've been looking for a bird like you for ages, mate. You know what? I'm looking for some. Man What you looking at? You better start talking. Hey, make me, you prick. Oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him real chatty. You want some, too? Hey, chill. I want what you want, brother. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Your green and my dead brother's white lady. Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. Accidents happen. Get lost. Hey, hey, whoa. Well, no need to go all long range on my ass. The way I see it, we two hombres in a strange town. We need to watch each other's back. My back's just fine, brother. You sure about that? Here, yeah, take this. Follow me. Way. The 
One thing you gotta realize about this town, you gotta pack some heat. The local gun shops, a couple of blocks away. Down, baby. You're listening to the Lady Killer here on Fever, the home of modern disco. You got ID? This is so frustrating. Hot tubs and fine right, meal and spot relaxation. You dig? See what I can dig up. I'll be watching you, Tony. Oh, lady, you're so fine. I'm a security conscious kind of guy. gone away for a while. He left me in charge. Screw you, man. What are you thinking? Get off of me! Oh, oh, for God's sake, it's you. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna need new pants. Hey, those psychos from up north, they've been on the horn, and they're coming down here soon. Now, where is the goddamn money? Relax, relax. We're not at that part oh, yet. Oh, I thought that you were taking care of this. I really did. And now those guidos say we gotta do them a favor. You mean I gotta do them a favor? Oh, of course that's what I mean. Do I look like I can intimidate a jury? I couldn't intimidate a child, and believe me, I've tried. Now look, it's either that or Ferelli's cousin... Dumb Florida moron. Do I get a light, baby? I didn't see you there, man. 
Called it peace. Your father is a great man. He's done more for the arms trade in this state than anyone else, myself included. And you shame him with the socialist, jiggery, pokery hoot nanny. America needs hope. Not songs that are supposed to send food to the poor. Songs will get you nowhere. This country needs something to aim for, like being rich and laughing at poor people. Or being in government and laughing at the electorate. Now, now, Mr. Shrub, let's not make this personal. I appreciate your attempt to press the point. No Don't money, touch. no funny, That's buddy, honey. Need a price, boy. You got me here? What are you gonna do with me? I can't believe this is happening! Remember, guilty is a dirty word. Jill sends his regards. Got no suntan. We well, ain't got my money either, so I'm one of them myself. What are you doing? So tell me, tell me, what are you doing? I'm looking for the money, Sonny. Don't worry. I am worrying, Tommy. That's my style because I seem to have this problem in my life with unreliable people. Don't be an unreliable person, Tommy, please. Do us both a favor. I'm looking forward to 
hearing from you. 